What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Dope. What if Tommy Gunn fought Victor Drago? I know Rocky V is generally considered the worst of the Rockies, and Creed II was just released days ago. But while watching Creed II and being totally impressed by Victor Drago, I couldn't help but to start thinking of fantasy matchups. As you can guess, Clubber Lang was my first thought. But we are all guilty, me included, of matching Clubber Lang up with every Rocky character because, quite frankly, he was just that cool and dynamic. Before I continue, I want to say that this video will be full of spoilers. So, spoiler alert. Do not continue watching if you haven't seen Creed 2 or if you absolutely hate spoilers. Now, you've been warned. Also, for all of my show business partners, I'm doing audio videos because of my knee injury and inability to stand. And if you like this video, please subscribe and share. Now, without further ado, Victor Drago versus Tommy Gunn. Standing at 6'2 and weighing 220 pounds is a boxer with one of the coolest names in the entire Rocky universe, Tommy the Machine Gunn. He was an absolute beast. Portrayed by the late Tommy the Duke Morrison, Tommy Gunn shared almost all of the same boxing traits as Morrison. Great power, a legendary left hook, an aggressive brawling style, and a decent jab used to blind opponents while closing the gap. The difference was in the head movement and the relentless focus to the body. In Rocky V, Rocky Balboa took him under his wing as his first and last protege before accepting Adonis Creed and developing him into a champion. Rocky Balboa proved to be a great trainer, learning the important lessons taught to him by the former trainer, the late Michael Mickey Goldmill. In Rocky V, Rocky was able to easily mold Tommy Gunn into a great fighter due to them sharing very similar raw attributes. Rocky taught Tommy Gunn how to attack the body relentlessly, how to move the head and slip the jab, how to not let up off the pressure, and how to finish his opponents once they've been hurt. What he couldn't teach Tommy was how to handle success, take small steps, value the growth process, and how to set aside his past to focus on the present for a brighter future. Tommy the Machine Gun's ambition and thirst to become a fighter was inspired by his hatred for his father who abused him and his mother. So he used it as fuel, imagining his father as every opponent he fought. His admiration for Rocky Balboa was his motivator to seek out Rocky's guidance, but that was soon distracted by his success and the naysayers calling him Rocky's puppet and living under Rocky's shadow. Now we have Victor Drago standing at 6'4 and weighing 245 pounds. Victor Drago was a huge athlete and tank in the ring, possessing an enormous amount of power. With a devastating body attack, breaking Adonis Creed's ribs and seriously damaging his organs, specifically detaching his kidney. Victor has a great chin, aggressive style, unyielding determination, killer instinct, and highly skilled in cutting off the ring to corner his opponents. All of his training and conditioning was provided by his father, Ivan Drago, an Olympic gold medalist who killed an over-the-hill Apollo Creed, the greatest boxer in the Rocky franchise. He retired at 31-1 with 30 KOs, only losing to Rocky Balboa by knockout in the 14th round. It was very apparent that Ivan Drago trained Victor Drago to be a finisher with the intent to seriously damage his opponents. In Creed II, Ivan Drago repeatedly demanded for Victor to break Adonis Creed by saying break him before the fight, in the corner between rounds, and from ringside as Victor attacked Adonis. What Ivan didn't pass down to Victor were some of the better assets that makes Ivan Drago, in my opinion, the second most skilled fighter in the Rocky franchise. Ivan's piston-like jab, excellent footwork, balance, and uncanny counter-punching ability was not present in Victor Drago. Though Victor showed great athleticism in the training montage, he didn't show the side-to-side -side movement 
and footwork displayed by the great Ivan Drago. So who will win if Tommy the Machine Gun and Victor Drago waged war in the ring? I see this fight as a slugfest, a bloodbath, and arguably one of the more exciting matchups when considering only characters from the Rocky franchise. So let's talk power. Though Victor almost repeated history by nearly killing the son of Apollo Creed, I believe Tommy Gunn matches his power. When watching the fighting scenes from both, one thing is clear. Opponents are lucky to make it to round two. When it comes to hand speed and footwork, I do not see a large distinction here either. I believe both fighters will be pressing forward in this fight, which surprisingly gives Tommy Gunn the edge. In Creed 2, Rocky told Adonis that styles make fights and fighting off your back foot would never work against the Dragos. Adonis was able to succeed with that tactic. First, he had to bulk up and work on his durability, stamina, and overall endurance. He also had to improve on his punching power. When Adonis beat Victor, he didn't fight toe to toe in a sense of giving and taking punches like a Gotti or Jake LaMotta. He fought on the inside while moving his head and slipping punches like James Tony, applying pressure, creating traps, and countering effectively. These are the same lessons taught to Tommy Gunn by Rocky Balboa. Remember, he taught Tommy to slip punches, dig to the body, and counter with vicious hooks. This approach will be very successful against Victor Drago. But here's where the rubber meets the road. Victor still put a beating on Adonis, dropping Adonis numerous times in their final fight. So much so that Rocky was considering once again throwing in the towel and stopping the fight. What beat Victor is what beat Ivan, the unyielding courage and willingness to die in the ring. Rocky, Apollo, and Adonis all share that attribute. Ivan had to kill Apollo because Apollo refused to quit. Ivan also permanently damaged Rocky and Victor almost killed Adonis by hitting him with a cheap shot after beating his body down for many rounds. So the question is does Tommy Gunn possess that willingness to die in the ring? We can count on one thing, Victor Drago will test that will. My answer is no. Tommy Gunn does not possess that will. I know how you feel. I know when somebody like Tommy comes along, you feel alive. But he's not you. He doesn't have your heart. All those fighters you beat, you beat them with heart, not muscle. Who wins between Tommy Gunn and Victor Drago? My vote goes to Victor Drago by TKO in an action-packed slugfest for the ages. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Showbiz the adult. Listen to Showbiz. Or boxing. Or boxing.